While it should never be an excuse for inappropriate behavior, it can complicate the process of addressing and rectifying issues. So quick question for you. Have you ever shared office space with those older colleagues or superiors who seem to dance to a different beat? If you've been in this spot and found yourself thinking, how on earth do I undo this? Let's get through this video first. Stick around. Manners on the go. Beautiful people, welcome back to Manners on the Go. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that hits close to home for many of us in the professional world. Gracefully handling the sometimes tricky waters of dealing with misconduct from our more seasoned, experienced, or even older colleagues. Now, before we dive in, let's acknowledge that this is a space where many of us have found ourselves. And yes, some of us might even be guilty parties. I won't name names. But hold off on the judgments. Let's get through this video first. So quick question for you. Have you ever shared office space with those older colleagues or superiors who seem to dance to a different beat? You know, the ones who talk a bit too much about the boss, crack jokes about co-workers, or just can't resist throwing in a comment about age or experience differences? It can get pretty awkward, right? And what about those who love a good gossip session, whether it's related or unrelated to the organization? Or those who make snide remarks? Or let's be real, downright tasteless jokes about someone else. If you've been in this spot and found yourself thinking, how on earth do I undo this? Well, you're in the right place. Maybe you've tried addressing it with them personally and it didn't exactly go as planned. Or perhaps you've found yourself in their crosshairs and now you're a bit lost on what to do. Fear not, we've got you covered. Let's have a quick chat about navigating the sometimes choppy workplace waters. Stick around. Number one, understand the generational gap. First things first, it's crucial to recognize that every workplace is a melting pot of different generations, each one with its own working style and norms. Older colleagues might have a different approach to things and understanding this generational gap can be a key step in finding common grounds. Acknowledge that across generations, we don't process things alike. So sometimes it's okay to take a pause and understand where they're coming from. Number two, communicate openly and respectfully. Communication is the name of the game. If you find yourself on the receiving end of questionable behavior, try having an open and honest conversation with your colleague. Share your perspective, express how their actions impact you, and listen to their side of the story. Sometimes, a heart-to-heart -heart can do wonders. To be able to do this seamlessly, you need to first study this person. Are they the type that flares up at every sight of inconvenience or constructive criticism? Are they open to ideas and corrections? Are they friendly and kind in heart and words? Your response to these questions will determine if they are the type you can walk up to and discuss how you feel respectfully. Number three, right timing and place is everything. When addressing the issue, choose an appropriate time and place for your conversation. Avoid confrontations in front of others and ensure you have a private and neutral space to discuss concerns. Rather than approaching the conversation as a confrontation, try framing it as a collaborative effort to find solutions. Discuss how both of you can work together more effectively and create a positive working relationship. Number four, seek guidance from a mentor. If you're unsure about how to address the situation, consider seeking advice from a mentor or a trusted colleague. They might offer insights on how to approach the issue based on their experience and knowledge of the workplace dynamics. Number five, please document incidents. If nothing is changing after you've communicated with them and it is apparent that their misdemeanor is affecting you and the quality of your work, then try to document incidents discreetly. No, this doesn't make you a snitch but helps guard your allegations to the HR if they are denied. So ensure a fair investigation and address the misconduct appropriately. Gather as much evidence as possible. Accurate documentation will not only help strengthen your case, but will also demonstrate your commitment to resolving the issue professionally. Number six, report the misconduct. If all else fails and the misconduct persists, it might be time to involve HR or your supervisor or someone else who's designated to handle such matters. As stated earlier, 
Ensure that your concerns are documented, including the nature of the misconduct and specific incidents if possible. Maintaining confidentiality during this process is essential to protect everyone involved. While it should never be an excuse for inappropriate behavior, it can complicate the process of addressing and rectifying issues. It is important to approach this situation with older or more experienced colleagues with sensitivity and tact, ensuring a fair and respectful resolution that benefits both the organization and the individuals involved. Have I missed out on any point? You know, I'm always appreciative when you share your experiences with me and everyone watching. So why don't you drop them in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe notification bell if you haven't done so. See you again next Wednesday. Goodbye. Manners on the go.